today I'm here with the last video for this week and the last week. The last video in my Nabla week and I am of course using the Dreamy 2. This is just the cardboard. This comes in cardboard and uh, the palette looks like this and first I wanted this then I didn't want it but then when I started to see videos on it I like I need to have it so it is a 12 pan palette it looks like this it's quite a lot of shimmers in this but I really love the packaging it looks like this I think it's such a nice packaging and the palette looks like this a little close-up and it just looks amazing in real life so I am going to do a look and I don't really know what I want to do I think I maybe should swatch some of these yeah I will swatch a little bit off cam and then I come back and we just start with this makeup okay so I think I know what I want to do and I want to go pretty pretty my style <laughs> so I will start with this deja vu deja vu in my crease and this shadows are some different formulas and no I have not looked it up why should I I never do This looks, I think it looks darker on the eyes than it actually does in the pan. I don't know. I'm darker a little bit. Is this better maybe? I have nothing against it. But just as so you know, this blends good. Nothing wrong with it at all. And I'm trying like to not use a shade in my crease every time I do my makeup, but I am using a red and I like to have something in my crease when I do a red eye because it feels like I know that some people are like afraid of wearing red eyeshadow. I am not, but I think it m most of the time looks better if you have something between like the red eyeshadow and your skin. Either like orange, it looks so much better so it doesn't get like super harsh. You can of course do what you want but just a little tip for, from me if you want to use red eyeshadow but you don't know what you should do or how you should do it okay and then I want to win with uh, this one and when I swatched this I fell in love so we will see how it picks up on the brush I think this is one of the maybe like latex shadows I don't know it looks like it has a little bit like sheen to it so it's like matte but not completely matte I don't know if you know what I mean the only thing I have noticed is with was it a nude cutie nude palette I think um, the you get kind of a lot of fallouts if you use like a fluffier brush so maybe you should keep that in mind if you have done your base first that maybe use like a more packing brush to do this if you're going to do your base first i think that will make it like a little bit better i don't know but it's just like the feel i have okay so i think like that and then i actually want to go in with this 
this gold one and this that's all I can say so okay we'll see how it picks up on the brush pretty good if I can say so I hope this will just stick to my eyelid and also go over the red a little bit maybe I should have done full cut crease but I think it works okay, and this falls quite a lot and it's I don't know I have to check what kind of formula it is on this eyeshadow but it's it feels maybe not like a pressed glitter but at the same time it's really really like glitter specs but at the same time it sticks really good but I have so much fallout right here I don't know I don't think you can see it so much fallout it doesn't bother me because I don't do my face first and okay. If I like pack this on. I really like it so much and I just want to go in with the brush that I took the red one and just do a little bit of this. So I like this for the lids maybe I want something no do I, I don't know if I want something darker on my outer corner but I don't think so no I do not think so so I will take away the fallouts fix my base and my brows and then I'll come back okay I am back and uh, time for my under eyes and I actually think I want to go in with this one new past and just take it on my lower lash and I I swatched this and it felt pretty dark so yeah it is pretty dark it's Kinda as the red that I have on my lid. It's just this brown instead. <laughs> what was that? It's kinda like the red I have, but it's brown. I actually think I want to go in with the gold I have here. Just on my lower lash as well. First I was thinking about taking another shade but I think I want this gold. Okay <laughs> so that is all for the eyeshadows I think and I really like this I really really do it's I've started to notice that I really like gold like gold with the green is amazing gold with black is amazing gold with red is amazing is gold my new thing maybe so I will take away the fallouts I almost said I will put on some mascara something in my wash line and I I think I will use one from Colourpop and something on my lips so I will fix that and then I come back. Okay so this is the finished look for my waterline. I used Dirty Talk from Colourpop. Yes again. And for my lips I used the Fenty Stana Lip Paint and Underdog and if you did not know I don't like the applicator on this one. I hate it so I put on the lipstick with a lip pencil and it turns out it is not my thing but that is what I have done so this is the finished look I love the eyes I don't know about the lips I 
this is kind of like a purpley red but not the red but it, I don't know so for this look I used this shade this this and this and I I really like this palette it doesn't bother me that it's maybe maybe if you look at it and think like how am I going to do different looks with this I think maybe they could have put in like one matte in maybe like bluer or gray um, area maybe it didn't need to be this and this maybe they could have done a matte that goes good with these colors but other than that I like the palette and Nobla they are so good this week I have really liked understand that I really 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 like Nobla's eyeshadow formulas and I have nothing to complain about the four shades I've used maybe that <laughs> this was pretty like I should have looked this up it feels like a pressed glitter but not a pressed glitter but it like it gets a lot on your face <laughs> so I should I would recommend like a glitter glue or spray your brush it works without because you can see on my eyes but if you don't want like gold specks all over your eyes and face use something <laughs> but other than that really really good and this red one so yeah that was all for my Nobla week I really hope you liked it and it is Wednesday when I'm recording this so three videos has already been up and it seems like you like it and that makes me happy because it's been a lot of work for me to put up seven videos uh, in one week yes it has and I really hope you liked it and I love to do this like theme weeks uh, I hope you like it too so yeah that was all for this week and this video and thank you so much for subscribing and watching me and commenting on my videos it makes me so so happy so yeah I hope I will see you in the next one bye